Ransomware has been called one of the most pervasive and dangerous cyber threats of the 21st century. By 2031, analysts predict that a ransomware attack will happen every two seconds. That's up from 11 seconds in 2021 and will cost victims up to 265 billion US dollars. Ransomware is fundamentally different from other types of malware. It's purposely designed to quickly disrupt operations by encrypting files and demanding a ransom payment to restore access instead of the old school, low and slow attack of years past. If the ransom isn't paid to unlock the data, attackers will threaten to leak an organization's stolen data, an act we call double extortion. Ransomware has short and long-term costs, liabilities, and regulatory implications, but it can also significantly impact public safety operations and even endanger human lives. The scale and sophistication of today's ransomware attacks is unprecedented thanks to the rise of ransomware as a service. These groups operate in a similar fashion to any SaaS business with top-down organization, structures, partner and affiliate programs, diversified revenue streams, and even, yes, customer support. They're not discerning, targeting any organization and industry, constantly looking for a way into networks and systems. Hi, my name is Ryan Golden with Halcyon and understanding how ransomware operates is critical. Today, we look at how ransomware works from an initial infection to lateral movement, all the way up to the ransomware demand. So how does a ransomware attack start? Attackers use numerous tactics that rely on human error, misconfigurations, phishing, and zero-day software vulnerabilities to gain access to systems, steal data, and deploy ransomware. And in general, they cause havoc. Phishing capitalizes on the human factor. Now, attackers send seemingly legitimate emails or texts designed to trick users into clicking malicious links or downloading infected attachments. Users can also fall victim to drive-by downloads where they unknowingly visit a compromised website that automatically installs ransomware without any interaction. Attackers can also easily scan for unpatched systems to exploit new vulnerabilities and utilize stolen or legitimate credentials for access. The attack surface is vast and it's growing every day. On the way out, attackers burn the building down by deploying ransomware. Now this is where the damage really begins. Ransomware groups are also adept at turning off or at least reducing the efficacy of endpoint controls leaving organizations in the dark on the whole event until it's too late. After being deployed on upsystems, the attack kicks off, first with an exfiltration of sensitive data, then it follows up with a lightning fast encryption of all that data on systems, which basically renders the business completely shut down. This is a brutal one-two punch by the attackers. Now the final stage is the ransom demand itself. Victims are presented with a ransom note with the amount, payment instructions, and a countdown timer. In return, Attackers will provide a decryption key, though, to be honest, there's no guarantee it'll actually work. The note might contain threats if the ransom isn't paid, including permanent data loss, leaking of sensitive data, or an increased amount if the payment isn't received in a specified time frame. The goal of every ransomware attack is to maximize impact. By spreading widely, ransomware disrupts entire networks, providing more of an incentive for victims to pay and regain access to their data. Paying a ransom isn't an easy decision. It doesn't guarantee data recovery or that stolen data won't be leaked. But RAS groups know that many companies simply cannot suffer downtime. In healthcare, business disruption can endanger lives. In manufacturing, operations are lean and any production halt will impact revenue. And financial services are frequent targets due to the sensitive customer information and service unavailability, which can lead to customer attrition. But the repercussions of paying a ransom can extend far beyond the one-time payment and downtime to liabilities and regulatory implications. RAS continues to evolve, with ransomware providers Lockbit, Black Cat, and Clop pulling in the highest number of attacks and even undergoing multiple iterations to evade detection and assure success. Providers offer ransomware tools to anyone willing to pay, allowing those, even with minimal technical skills, to launch ransomware attacks. They take a cut of the ransom payment and provide a range of services to their affiliates, including customer support, payment processing, and regular updates to evade detection. From initial infection to spreading across networks, and finally to the ransom demand, today's ransomware attacks are meticulously planned and executed, often by strategic, smart, and organized groups, which makes ransomware a true business. To learn more about RAS, cybersecurity, and how you can combat ransomware, visit halcyon.ai. And also, make sure to follow us on LinkedIn and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for staying tuned in, and until next time, have a great day.